How to set up a Nextcloud server. Nextcloud is an open source content collaboration platform. As you can see, I currently have my browser open and I'm on the homepage of nextcloud.com. Now, before I show you how to install Nextcloud onto your server, we're just going to briefly go through what exactly it is and what exactly you will be getting once you install Nextcloud onto your server host of choice. So Nextcloud allows you to regain control. It's a self-hosted productivity platform that keeps you in control. You can share and collaborate on documents, send and receive email, manage your calendar, and have video chats without data leaks. As a fully on-premises solution, Nextcloud Hub provides the benefits of online collaboration without the compliance and security risks. So let's just scroll back up to the top here and I'll go through with you some of the products. So let's hover over products here on the top left-hand corner. So as you can see, the top product here is called Nextcloud Hub which is the content collaboration platform. Inside Nextcloud Hub, you get three other products. The first product is Nextcloud Files, which allows you to sync files and share them. You also get Nextcloud Talk, which allows you to make calls, chat, and host web meetings. And finally, you get Nextcloud Groupware, which gives you a calendar, contacts, and mail. Now, when we install Nextcloud Hub, we'll only be getting Nextcloud Files. However, you do have the option within Nextcloud to install additional apps of your choice. I'll show you exactly where you'll be able to do that as we go further into this video. So if you wanted to install Nextcloud Hub by yourself, all you need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here to where it says get Nextcloud, hover over it and then left click on server packages. And this is where you'll be able to download Nextcloud and install it onto your server of choice. Now for this video, we're going to be doing another method here on installing Nextcloud. This method is quite simple and will install Nextcloud very easily with one click. This service is available on my server host of choice called Vulture. So what I'm going to do now is left click on the other tab here. This is my server of choice as it's affordable with an easy to use UI and with many one click install applications. If you don't already have a Vulture account, then you're in luck. If you use my referral link at the top here, you'll be able to receive $100 free promotional credit to use with Vulture. This credit will last 30 days and will allow you to host your Nextcloud server for free for one month. You must use my referral link to get this promotional credit and must also be a new user to Vulture. I'll put this referral link in the video description below. You'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. All right, guys, once you've clicked on my referral link, you'll be taken to Vulture's homepage. Here you'll need to create your account, enter in an email address of your choice and create a password and then left click on create account. You'll then receive an email to your inbox. You'll need to click on that to activate your Vulture account. Once you have done that, you'll need to log in. Now, I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to left click on my account here to be taken to the Vulture dashboard. So as you can see, guys, I'm currently on the Vulture dashboard here. And before you receive the promotional credit from clicking on my referral link, you'll actually need to first go to billing, which is on the left hand side here and left click on it. Once you're in billing, you'll need to add your billing details to your Vulture account. And once you've done that, you'll then receive the $100 free promotional credit. If we look to the top right hand corner here, you can see the remaining credit that I have which is two dollars and seventy three cent for you once you've linked your billing details you receive one hundred dollars free promotional credit and you'll be able to view it right here all right guys once you've got your hundred dollars free promotional credit navigate to the top left hand corner here to products and left click on it now what we're going to be doing is deploying a server to install Nextcloud on. To deploy a server, all we need to do is hover over the blue plus symbol here on the right hand side and then left click on deploy new server. So as you can see here guys, it says deploy new instance. We'll need to choose our server. You have cloud compute, high frequency, bare metal, dedicated cloud. Now the cheapest is cloud compute. So as you can see, it's selected by default. So I'm going to leave it as it is. If it's not already selected, just left click on it and scroll down. Now we'll need to choose our server location. I recommend choosing the server closest to you and closest to the people you're going to be working with. So out of all these servers, the closest server would be London. So I'm just going to left click on London and then continue to scroll down here. Next, we'll have to choose our server type. By default, 64-bit operating system will be pre-selected for you and you'll be able to see all the operating systems available for you to install on your Vulture server. We're not going to be using a blank install here. We're actually going to be selecting application here. And then what we'll be looking for is Nextcloud. So I'm just going to scroll down here until I find Nextcloud. Here's Nextcloud and it will be installed on an Ubuntu 18.04 
x64 bit operating system. Just left click on it to select next cloud. Once you have done that, continue scrolling down. Now we'll need to choose the server size. By default, $10 per month will be selected, which gives you 55GB SSD, 1 CPU, 2GB of RAM, and 2TB of bandwidth. Now because this video is a demonstration, we're going to be selecting the cheapest server, which is to the left here, and that's the $5 a month server. And it gives you 25GB SSD, 1 CPU, 1 gigabyte of RAM and 1 terabyte of bandwidth. Now all Vulture servers are charged hourly. So you can see the hourly rate here is 0.007 USD per hour. And that varies depending on your server size. So I'm just going to left click on the $5 a month server size. Once you've selected your server, continue scrolling down until you see additional features. So you have the ability to enable IPv6, enable auto backups, enable DDoS protection, enable private networking. Now for me, I'm not going to be enabling any of these features. I'm going to continue scrolling down, past startup script, past SSH keys, until you see server, host name, and label. Here you have the ability to give your server a name and a label if that is something you're interested in. I'm just going to left click on enter server name, host name here, just to give it a name, and I'm going to call it Nextcloud. Once you've given your server a name, all you need to do is navigate to the bottom right hand corner here and left click on deploy now. Once you've clicked on deploy now, you'll automatically be taken to the products page and in green, it should say server added successfully. And if we scroll all the way down here, you'll be able to see your server. As you can see, it's called Nextcloud and I only have one server here. The OS is Nextcloud, the location is London, current charges and the status of the server. Let's left click on this Nextcloud server to get additional details for us to log into our Nextcloud server. So once you've clicked on your Nextcloud server, you'll be in the overview section. Just scroll down and you'll be able to see your bandwidth usage, CPU usage, current charges, location, the IP address of your server, your username to log into SSH, and your SSH password. To reveal the password, all you need to do is left click on this I symbol here to show your password. As you can see, Nextcloud is installed on an operating system called Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system 18.04 x64. Now what you'll be most interested in is the application information. So I'm just going to scroll down here. So as you can see, it says Nextcloud server details. Access your Nextcloud application by visiting this URL. So this is the URL to access our Nextcloud application, which is basically the IP address of our server. Underneath the URL to access Nextcloud, we have the login information for Nextcloud. So this is our username and this is our password. So the first thing you need to do is copy your username here. Once you've copied it, just left click on the Nextcloud application URL here. So I'm just going to left click on it now and a new window will open. Because your login page is simply the IP address of your server, Google Chrome will greet you with this message. Your connection is not private. This is just a security warning given to you by Google Chrome. However, for us guys, we know exactly what we're connecting to and that is to our own server. So to bypass this message, what we'll need to do is navigate to the bottom left-hand corner here to advanced and left click on it. Once you've left clicked on advanced, just scroll down a little until you see proceed to and then the IP address of your Nextcloud Vulture server. All you need to do is left click on this hyperlink text here to be taken to your Nextcloud login page. All right guys, we're on our login page to our Nextcloud server. Server. If we look to the very top here, you can see it's our server's IP address slash login. Once you're here, you'll need to enter in the Nextcloud username given to you by Vulture, which we copied already, and paste it in. And now we'll need to enter the password. So I'm just going to go back to the Vulture tab here and copy the Nextcloud login password here. Once you've done that, navigate back to the Nextcloud login page and then paste in your password. Once you've done that, guys, all you need to do is left click on login to be taken to your Nextcloud server's dashboard. All right, guys, we're successfully logged into our Nextcloud server's dashboard here. When you first log into your Nextcloud server, you'll be greeted with a little tutorial of how to use Nextcloud. You can go through it in your own time to learn more about Nextcloud. Once that brief little welcome message slash tutorial has been read or closed out of, you'll be greeted with your Nextcloud dashboard. At the top right hand corner here, you can actually access your username, set your status, access your settings, install additional apps, get more information about Nextcloud, manage your users, get help and log out. Now, if you wanted to install some apps onto your Nextcloud server, then all you need to do is left click on apps here. Once you're in Nextcloud apps, you'll be able to install apps such as Nextcloud Talk and Nextcloud Groupware and other applications that you desire. Of course, guys, the Vulture installation of Nextcloud will give you Nextcloud files in your Nextcloud hub. 
All right, guys, now let's navigate back to the dashboard of Nextcloud. So to do this, navigate to the top left-hand corner here and left-click on Dashboard. Once we're back on Dashboard, to the right of the Dashboard icon is Nextcloud Files, Nextcloud Photos, and Nextcloud Activity. Let's go through Nextcloud Files as that will cover all three. So I'm just going to left-click on Nextcloud Files here to be taken to all files in our Nextcloud server. So as you can see, once you first set up Nextcloud with a fresh installation, you get all these documents with your Nextcloud server. You can choose to delete them if you want by simply going to the right-hand side of each file here to the three horizontal dots and left-clicking on it and then choosing the delete option. So as you can see, it says delete folder here. So I'm just going to left-click on it and photos will be gone. You can do that for each file if you would like. Now let's say if we wanted to create our own folder, all you would need to do is navigate to the top left hand corner here to the plus symbol and left click on it. You have the option to upload file, new folder, new text document. We're going to be left clicking on new folder. Once you've done that, give it a name. So let's call it web explaining and then left click on the arrow here. So there we go, we've created our first folder in our freshly installed Nextcloud Hub server. To go into this folder, all you need to do is left click on it. Now let's try to upload some files for the very first time onto our Nextcloud server. I'm just going to reduce down this window here so that I can see my desktop. So I'm just going to configure this window here a bit better like so. On my desktop here, I have three files that I would like to upload to my Nextcloud server. The first one is an image, the one below it is a PDF, and the one below that is an MKV file. Let's just highlight all of them, and then simply left click and hold, and then simply drag them into your Nextcloud server, and let go of your left click to upload them. Great guys, so as you can see, all the files are being uploaded now and processed. Great, so they're all uploaded now, so I'm just going to maximize this window here, as we no longer need to look at our desktop anymore. Now that we've added our desired files, we can simply left click on them to view them. So let's say I wanted to view the PDF, all you need to do is left click on it. A small PDF viewer will open and you'll be able to view it on your Nextcloud server on your web page. So I'm just going to close out of it here. If we wanted to view our image, all we need to do is left click on it. So as you can see guys, Nextcloud basically operates like any other cloud file sharing or hosting platform. To close out of this image, all you need to do is hit the X again here. To view the video file, all you need to do is simply left click on it and it should play. And there we go guys, it's playing as simple as that. Let's say for instance, we wanted to share the PDF file. Then all you simply need to do is left click on the share button here to the right of the document and the share settings will open to the right hand side. To generate the share link, all you need to do is left click on the plus symbol here to create the share link. To copy the share link, all you need to do is left click on the copy to clipboard icon here and you should see a tick. And now you're ready to share this PDF document for anybody you are collaborating with. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that little brief overview of how you can go about using Nextcloud. And that also concludes this video on how to set up a Nextcloud server from beginning until end. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so